Have you ever felt stuck in life? Even though things might not look so bad at the moment, the future gives you extreme anxiety because you don't seem to be getting anywhere. You're not lazy. You have this big desire to invest your time in something valuable, to go after the life you always dreamed of. But at the end of the day, you always end up getting nowhere. Doesn't it feel like there's a force holding you back, pulling you away from the things you know you should be doing? Well, what if I told you that this is actually the case? There is indeed a force that is conspiring against you, prevent you from becoming the person you want to be. And in this video, I'm going to show you what this force is and how you can overcome it so you can be free to achieve anything you desire in life. But before that, we need to understand your story from the beginning. First, there was the universe. Then the universe created nature. And nature creates life, things that do whatever it takes to survive and reproduce. And you are one of these things. Life is a game in which the universe creates players out of itself. And for most of these players, winning the game just means staying alive and making babies. That's it. But if staying alive is the goal of life, why aren't you satisfied? Why do humans never seem to be satisfied with just being alive and well? Every other living thing out there seems to be doing the same thing for millions of years and they don't seem to want anything else, while we humans have changed our ways of being countless times throughout history. Well, most of them. The reason we are different is because when nature created us, it didn't only create the being running on autopilot, doing exactly as it was programmed to, but it also created a pilot itself, something that could override its autopilot and make decisions on its own. The pilot could also imagine things they never saw before, it could reflect on its own existence, and most important of all, it could ask questions. Nature created you, the pilot, the one who sits behind the wheels of this body. We are different because by creating the pilot, nature created two separate entities with different wants. One just wants to survive and reproduce, and the other one wants much, much more than that. But wait, if I'm not my body, then who the fuck am I? See, the real you, the youest you can get, is not your body, not your face, not your memories, not your thoughts, not even your mind itself. While these are all yours, they're not you. Consider this, if you were to lose a limb, would that make you less you? If Alzheimer erased all the memories of your life, would that also erase you? If you were to achieve a deep state of meditation, where thoughts cease to exist completely, would you cease to exist too? No, you wouldn't. There are even people who have lost half of their brains and still remain alive. So, after all that stuff is gone, what remains? You. The you is you can get is just awareness. The awareness that is watching this video right now. And everything else that is not you, it's part of the machine that nature created. The human. And the human is almost entirely controlled by the subconscious. I personally like to call it the supreme. Because at the end of the day, it's not you that control your mind, it's your mind that controls you. Nature trusts you very little with this incredible machine that is the human. It took millions of years of trial and error to get it right. So, for your own safety and the safety of your genetic code, nature created the Supreme, your autopilot. The Supreme takes care of almost everything you do on a daily basis. The way you brush your teeth, the way you do the dishes, the way you walk, talk, look, think, laugh, cry, all the way to more complex things like driving a car, playing instruments, or doing your work, whatever it is. Essentially, the Supreme automates the way you do stuff, so you don't have to think about it all the time, thus saving you time and energy, so you can focus on what matters. Make babies. This means that most of the things you believe are you, it's not actually you, it's just the way your Supreme learned to behave throughout the years, and it's mostly not fixed. If you don't like the way you are, you can always change it. But why is it so hard to change? Why is it so hard to do things differently than you're used to? The main objective of your Supreme is to follow nature's commands. Survive and reproduce. That's all that matters. To your autopilot, the only purpose you have is to not die and to spread your seeds as much as possible. Which means rest, eat a lot, and fuck as much as you can. Or, you know... Just pretend you do, the Supreme can tell the difference anyway. Nature just wants you to survive and make babies. If you're alive, eating well and having sex, however you do it, then for nature, 
you're doing a pretty great job. There's no need to change anything, and your supreme will act accordingly. Anything different and possibly dangerous that you might want to do creates resistance against the path your supreme is going, the path you are right now, the path that has proven to work so far. After all, if you're alive right now, it means that whatever it is that you're doing, it's working. So why change it? That is why it's so hard to change. That is why the comfort zone is so comfort. If you're alive and safe, why change anything at all? Now, what about getting you unstuck? Why do you feel stuck? Because you want something and you don't know how to get it. Whatever it is that you want is outside your supreme's path, and whenever you try to go out there. It creates resistance against where your supreme is going. So to control you, I mean, to change your mind, the supreme will create stories to keep you in line. You're not good enough. That's not for people like you. You embarrass yourself. Don't be an idiot. Stop dreaming. It's gonna be maybe. And most of the time, you will fall for that. After all, that voice is coming from yourself, isn't it? Then it must be right, right? Whatever it is that you want is out there. You might not know exactly all the steps you need to take, but at least you know how to get just a little closer, and that's all you need. You just need to take the first step, then the next, and the next, and so on and so on. If you just keep walking, you will get there eventually. However, as soon as the Supreme notices that you're going off the path, it'll do everything it can to pull you back in. It will exaggerate how many steps you have to take, how hard each one of them will be. And what's gonna happen when you slip and fall? The invisible force acting on you is the resistance from the path you're currently following against where you wanna go, and that's why you feel stuck. You're not actually stuck. You probably know what you should be doing right now, but the reason you don't do it is because you're being pulled by your supreme into the path of least resistance, your comfort zone, the path nature wants you to follow. So what? Can we do about it? This is where all the cliches come in. But just because something's a cliche doesn't mean it's not true. The first and most important step to do anything in life is just to believe you can do it. Why? Because if you don't believe in yourself first, you'll never even try to take the first step, let alone all the other ones. If you just keep walking, you will get there eventually. Simple as that. Sounds silly, right? But consider this: the chances of you achieving what you want by believing in yourself and being confident are much, much greater than if you're insecure and foreshadowing your own failure. So why would you choose the second option? I'll tell you why: because the supreme is telling you to. It wants you to fail by not trying, so it can keep you safe from harm. Confidence is a superpower, and being confident literally means. Having a belief that you can do or succeed at something, so many people don't get what they want because they don't even try in the first place. And if they try, they do the bare minimum just to prove that they can't. So a good rule of thumb to go about in life is: nothing is impossible until proven otherwise. And what is the only way to prove that something's impossible? By trying. But what if I fail? Will that prove that I can't? No. You can always try again. The only way to prove something impossible is to have absolutely no more options to try. The next step is to keep repeating step one. Getting a little closer every day will slowly guide your supreme to where you want to go. Then you show it that it's not as bad as you thought, and most importantly, show it that you're safe. And now, fucking real people. I know that the advice of believing yourself. Is extremely cheesy and overused, but this is the basis for doing anything in life. If there's one thing I would like you to take from this video is, know thyself. The more you understand it by your supreme, the better you'll be able to craft the perfect version of yourself, build a high-quality human being, and achieve whatever you want with your life. If this video helped you in any way, consider subscribing. Otherwise, you might never find this channel again, and in a few months from now, you'll be questioning if this video even existed in the first place, or if it was all just in your head.